Um, we talked about this too. We did some playtesting, Chris and I. And I, he went. Uh, we both went with one personal shield. <laughs> this is a little, a little bit of a of a tech card. Um, not a ton because you're really just going to kill something. Yep. Um, as soon as possible. So we end up with Emperor's Throne Room, which makes Maz less of an obvious first target, I think, for Vader Raider. Still, he still might go for her, but mm -hmm. the Throne Room being there means the the focus is much less important. So he gets a tactical aptitude to draw. You want to draw onto the Poe's Poe specials as much as possible. Yeah. Or, or Poe throwables. So in his hand we see the... He just draw fast hands. So we see he's got a U-wing. I can't see a lot of the others. So he's got at least one thing to throw. So there's there's a uh, card that we talked about earlier in the stream when Pete was on. Um, I think it's called... Tactical aptitude? Tactical, yeah, tactical aptitude. Yeah. I was gonna say tactical master. It turns so. it turns people sort of into a mini Luke, so people forget yeah. it as much as they do when they're playing Luke. Well, not quite a Luke because you, you, <laughs> you don't have to actually pull one end back. up in cards. Yeah, yeah. but it, it helps you search for those uh, for things you really want. Yeah, those things that you want to throw or any sort of dice removal. Yeah. You see it occasionally. I mean, it, it is a bit of a, a, a personal choice in this deck. Yep. I don't see it a lot, um, mm -hmm. um, but you can you know you can put it on Maz, you can put it on Poe, you can just find. The, those cards to throw specials because it can happen sometimes to Poe that he has the special but nothing to throw. Especially when he's running uh, Maz with the battlefield. Like he yeah. wants to get off to a turn if he can. So the classic Vader Raider opening, putting the Holocron on the Tuscan Raider there. Yep. You want to make it a threat for yeah. sure as soon as possible. Take some heat off Vader. Yeah, and, and the Wub gets the special. Now, does he have a uh, I would power? I would have. Does he have a force power and does he have something he wants to discard? Uh, to get that force power, uh, I don't think I don't think he has force power. Otherwise, I think he would have done that immediately. So uh, yeah, uh, traditionally you don't really put any upgrades besides fast hands for speed on Vader because his dice yeah. are pretty much not unless by they themselves. not unless they go if they if they go for the Tuscan yeah. off the start you do mm -hmm. you get the Vibro knife on him. But in in this list and a lot of lists, especially because I know Chris's list pretty well, it, there isn't much to put on there. Yeah. Like, if you're not holocroning it, you're probably not paying for it. There's a Vibro Knife, and there's the one personal shield, and yep. there's a bunch of zero costs. And then there's a Mind Probe, um, one Force Throw, st expensive stuff that you rarely play. So Vader rolls in. Vader gets a pretty poor roll for Vader. A shield, not too shabby, uh, but, you know, at a blank. Um, so, can't see Chris's hand, but, you know... It does pitch a Millennium Falcon. That's, uh... I would have thought you would want to save that. Unless, unless of course, so you've got a bunch of removal in your hand, you're trying to get rid of it. I don't know. The four straight damage. Yeah, that's yeah. an interesting choice. Although, I think I saw him put... I don't know what he put at the bottom, but I got the impression he had a lot of a lot of big cards in hand wow. because of what he put on the so bottom. So you think his hand is all I just think his big, hand things. big things? So I think if I was Chris, I'd maybe take that as some kind of a sign. Yeah, I think so. Oh, oh, okay. And then you were right. Because he straight up lanes. Second one. So that's four damage onto Vader, uh, one of the damage blocked by a shield. Which gives three car three three rerolls for Vader, which is I think a pretty good situation. Yeah. He's got the dollar. He mm -hmm. could end up with a nine or seven eight. Lex not to play the Vibro Knife when he has it, because he I guess he wanted to pay for the electric. No, I I don't think you have time in this matchup to play. Well it's the got Vibro ambush. Knife. So it doesn't take away time, it's money. Well, yeah, the money too, right? But with the with the Tuscan Raiders side, and then plus it's a, the Sith Holocron. It's a wanna, tough. It's a tough yeah. choice because it lets you get around the Duggins, because the Duggin is is, is yes. pretty heavy duty, right? Mm -hmm. um, so, but I saw he had the Electroshock at hand, so that that's why he didn't yeah. play the Vibro Knight. Okay, and there's a there's another Spirit of Rebellion addition to the classic Vader Raider deck, Lightsaber Throw. Uh, that's a card I see uh, maybe not so in every Vader Raider deck, just like kind of 50-50, And there's yeah. a bait and switch there. It's between that and per yeah. backup muscle often because they both do similar things, uh, just one less damage faster. Mm -hmm. And so Vader gets some turns what were pretty poor dice and some pretty good cards. Uh, you know, the one melee turned into three effectively, and then the doll, and then <laughs> then the resource turned into another three uh, Ralph I think there was five Poe Maz decks yes there was yeah five Poe Maz decks out of a field of 30 players all, all of the, and um, there's only one in the top four which is a bit of a surprise to me but, yeah. all, but all five were in the top ten and I think four of them were in the top seven the top six so they still did quite well Okay, so here's a here's a good roll by Peter. That fast hands can resolve that yeah. special. Of course, he's opting to use the tactical aptitude first uh, to perhaps dig for something. Uh, yeah, you know, something to throw at Vader. Sorry, my duck is telling me the yeah. semifinal round is over. Yeah, <laughs> so very dangerous with fast hands now because yeah. especially if you can fast hands one special, right? Because the second one's coming just straight off the claim. Um, so it's really down to cards drawn, and tactical aptitude is going to help. 
a lot with that. Yeah, so that's a thermal detonator activation. Isolation always important Very good to get play rid of those character yeah. dice. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that makes Maz's dice less of a threat. Of course, I know that Peter plays uh, two copies of, I think, uh, Cunning in, yes. uh, in his deck. So uh, well, if he can get both of those well, has, down onto Maz. And he has Maz. four resources already, so... Yeah. And he's going for Poe, so Maz will get dangerous yeah. very soon. Now, of course, if you take out the Poe, then uh, all of a sudden it doesn't become that Not unless Poe. If, if Poe's done a lot of damage, um, yeah. which he's starting to pile up, Mo Maz with a rocket launcher, Maz with a DL-44 can, yep. can, can finish out a game in a way that a lot of support characters can't. Okay. A lot of support characters can't. Um, so, but at the same time, well, I saw four strike in Chris's hand. So that's yeah. three. And there's another one. So I, it's... Not a bad, um, not not a bad chance that uh, Poe could die this round. So we'll see if that happens or not. Because that's huge. Yeah. So there's that blaster. That's that's, a, that's another thing that's not quite common. I think. Uh, no, it's very common. Oh, it's very common. They, they're really low on must, removal. Yeah. And it gives. Um, the oh, really it low on movement gives an increased gives threat to Maz. Yeah. Yeah. Because Poe and Maz doesn't pay money for a lot of things. They right. often end up with a lot of money. Mm-hmm. So, so slowly building the threat level up on Maz. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I mean, so he's thinking about this, what, what to resolve. This um, deck is all, all like these two decks. It's all about racing, right? It's like yes, who it's can take down their big character damage first. Damage, damage race for sure. Because and it's a big hitting that three. Yeah, it's gonna be four. Vader's gonna be up to nine. So he's got to If he, he's really got to take the yeah. pot this turn because the fast hands could kill him next turn. Yeah. So that's the real problem for him. Or, or even not fast hands rolling the claim. Like Vader could yeah, have a lot and, of different uh, bad ways. I don't think uh, Peter's using any of his hits or hit and runs yet either. No. no. So what do we got in his hand? I see a force. I see a mind probe. That's not coming out. I see a force throw. Lost cat. Takes the damage away. Okay. Yeah. Just mitigate okay. those Vader yeah. dice. So now what you do. it's. Oh, he's got a. Oh. Okay. He's got a lightsaber. He's got another lightsaber throw. But he's short on money. Okay. But he does get the force strike. So that's nine damage on. Yeah, oh, but he doesn't I have the dollar for the yeah. lightsaber throw. Yeah, the lightsaber throw, unfortunately, I mean, it would finish off uh, Poe along with that one melee side that the Raiders But shows. because he mitigated that one damage, which doesn't seem like a big deal, yeah. that prevents the hit and run uh, mm -hmm. Millennium Falcon kill. Although I think both Millennium Falcons are already in the trash. Yes, that's right. And then I don't, I don't think Peter's deck is running launch phase. No, it's just U-Wings and uh, the DL Blaster. Along with yep. uh, rocket launcher, actually rocket launcher might be able to finish off if he has enough money to do it. Right? Yes, yeah. which he, he does. Oh, he definitely does. I mean, he's always gonna have two. So yeah, rocket launcher could be a danger for for Vader. But he claimed the battlefield, mm -hmm. uh, which doesn't necessarily mean he's gonna get to roll because <laughs> he doesn't have his fast hands. Now, if if he rolls out the Tuscan Raider, gets the three the three melee side here, he could take out the well or a holocron into line probe or something yeah, like that, true. right? But the chances are. He'll need to have drawn that mind probe because I know in the first turn he rolled a special side and all the hawk didn't yeah. do anything. Or sorry, he he opted to reroll it because I don't think he had anything in his death in his hand at that point. Yeah. So he's gonna so go yeah, so looking for the kill shot. I think shot he's going for, for the kill shot for the three for one. And doesn't, doesn't quite get it. Oh, he does get the special. Yeah. So he's got see. something. Yeah, he's got something. What's he got? Mind probe. I saw, I saw a mind probe earlier in his hand. He's got so he's got force throws. He's got mind probes. So let's see what his yep, he's got the mind probe. Probe. Yeah. So he's he's sitting on a, a so one and three for five damage here. And and you can resolve it because well, if it's no, a special, he's, he's got a fifty fifty because yeah. he hit for the three for one. Oh no, special. it's not a special. Yeah, the special side and because oh, he's resolving. It hits the special. Wow, what a turn of events. Okay. So now, now he can resolve the hit it. And run. Can you No no, he, he can resolve it. No, oh, no, he can't because no, he no. resolved off the Tuscan. Right. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 So he resolved off the Tuscan, so that's why he so can't. So here's, here's Peter's response to this. Yeah. Can he kill Vader? Well, I don't know. You said he couldn't, right? He does get this special. He can kill Tuscan. Oh, from... Yeah, from a lot of things. He can do... Well, that's he needs to deal five Oh, he needs two, right? two actions, yeah, two separate so actions. Actually, yeah. luckily for... No, he can roll in He can roll in Maz and do five, five damage. Ah, uh, with the hit. Yes, yeah, with the hit he gets, he gets to resolve. So he's got two characters at five. So, so now does he? He has a he has a rocket launcher, I think, in his hand. Mm -hmm. So if he if he rocket launchers and he uses the, the two. hit and run ambush to deal he two, yeah, he can kill off either Vader or uh, yeah, the the Tuscan. Both of five. Wow. But I think I think he finished off the Tuscan Raider because he's the one that can. What a crazy turn of events! Yeah. Or he, he, 
has any removal, he could opt to remove. No, no, I think you just kill the thing that's going to kill your. He your didn't. Ro okay, so interesting. He didn't roll in Moss, and there's really no reason not to, because you get to do two dice. So he's he elected to only do. What's the damage? Man. Oh, he's fast handing. Sorry, he's fast hands. He fast hands. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, Moss could roll a damage. Moss, oh no, you know what he focus. did? He resolved the uh, two damage to each of two characters. So, so he he rolled a focus into the three. Yeah. Yeah. So now the Damn. Tuscan is. <laughs> well, there you go. And he used up a lot of cards. It's, uh, it's all about racing, right? Like, that's what it is. So now, now let's see. It just needs... He has three cards, but that's a, enough to kill... Yeah, he, oh. might, he killed Poe. He had three cards. So he killed Poe with the Mind Probe. But now we have a... Uh, we have a Tuscan with three no, well, health. Now, to be fair, you've, you've shut off the, uh, the Emperor's Throne Room for Peter. Yes. If he can get a cunning down... Yeah, if he can get a cunning down... No, you down, haven't. A cunning, yeah. Yeah, if you can get a cunning down and you can copy the, like, the Mind Probe. I mean, it still looks really bad. I mean, it's the health disparity. Yeah. Disparity. yeah. Um, I mean... Th that being said, I mean, the, the Tuscan Raider over a large... A large amount of rolls. I mean, it's going to have more damage output than Maz in her current. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but like this, Maz is going to get yeah. three, right? Mm -hmm. But three is all she needs, so he can take the shield here, to, which is probably what it's going to do. I doubt it's going to reroll, um, which you know can give him around. But then you got to worry about planetary invasion, like yeah. uh, planetary up uprising. Like there's a lot of ways. Tuscan's just in a bad spot. I'm not saying it's it's over, but it's very difficult. Losing Vader before getting to roll him out. Yeah. Very bad. Hit and run. Very powerful. So Chris is thinking about it. I mean, you can almost... You can be pretty sure that... Because it's got two three sides. Mm -hmm. And Moss got two, <laughs> two focus sides. You're pretty sure you're taking three. So you got to figure some way to live. What he really needs is the Force. Oh, what he really needs is a Force um, force Illusion. Yes. So it yeah. buys him a whole round to do that. So Ma's gonna have four dollars. So Ma's can get another big upgrade too, though. If she can get a rocket launcher, she should get, get whatever. Or if she gets something with really a special, it's really bad. <laughs> so uh, hit and run. The second hit and run is now turned off. Yes. Uh, no fast hands. So uh, I mean, Ma still has her ability, so she can resolve damage. Uh, I think if she resolve, if she rolls the three damage side and the one damage side, that's enough to kill the Tuscan yep. Raider from. Mm -hmm. His health. So yeah, man, at this point, okay, it's all so about, it's all about hoping. Well, I see a dug, in, a dug in and a field medic, so those oh, are both geez. huge. So that's yeah. five extra life <laughs> once he takes damage. I will say, I mean, Peter's been drawing all his cards in the right order here. Yeah. Um, yeah, lightsaber throw useless now. And no, you don't have to spot. The test can not the spot. No, Jeez. I'm pretty sh fairly sure. Yeah, the text is so small. No, I think it's uh, it just about melee damage. The deflect is, which is pretty huge. <laughs> Not that Paz is going to necessarily leave one out there to deflect. Yeah, you're right. You don't need uh, you don't need a blue character for that. But, I mean, Chris doesn't know it, but he has to do 10, 13 points of damage. <laughs> thinking through his options. I feel like it's it's kind of like a high noon scenario in like a old spaghetti western, you know, like two whole men standing across each other. That's true, and they both, have action, they both have action sheets. Got the fast hands. Because yeah. <laughs> Duskin's got two action sheets now. He can... He can you can do two thirds of his dice, and so can so can Moz. You, you know, actually, if Tuscan Raider rolls out, and like, and he hits all the, did, did, yeah, if he hits like the three melee and the mind probe special, yep. like that's eight damage straight up, right? right? Yeah. I mean, again, like the if he doesn't, if he doesn't use low, the card, but if he doesn't yeah. use the card, I mean, if yeah. Peter thinks that he can dug in. Oh yeah, yeah, and he's down to four. I think if, if Peter was like hedging his bets here, I think yeah. he would just like play dug in first. Yeah, there's no reason not to. Yeah. There's no reason. There's one Bible knife in the trash. Mm -hmm. I, I don't, like again. I don't think you have time for Bible knife right now. I, I don't know. It's got it's got ambush, so it doesn't sleep. Yeah. Well. It's very consistent damage. Yeah, that's, I think that's what he was thinking about with yeah. the Duggan, because now he's got and two chances. That's one, th one thing people forget, you can still play those upgrades on, oh, yeah. onto your characters. 
So he does get a three ranged. I mean, I feel like he might want to resolve that right now. But of well, course, he's, the he's, he's, thinking, well he's thinking through the the removal options. Already seen two Loft Cat go, which wouldn't be applicable anyway. So the defensive position. Is, so yes, he should yeah. because of the defensive position. So the defensive position was the one. And he hasn't seen one yet. So. So that was the fast hands resolution. Now, do you think he's going to try to take a shield right away? Discard a card, take a shield? No. I, I don't know what taking shield is going to get you, really. Yeah. Because um, right now, she needs two dice worth of damage to kill you. Um, oh. Oh, the rocket launcher is huge because it also brings the Emperor's Throne yeah, back into special play. side, so that's another two damage you can deal. Yeah. Of course, if he if he spends a dollar with dice removal, then it's really it it's, it's kind of in, in a way it's unfortunate that they, they came up that way. If it was the Raider three for one and the Mind Probe, you'd still be able to claim. Yes. So now you you can claim the Holocron. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can Holocron for four solution. Holocron <laughs> for the four speed. I see this. Yeah. Is this a four solution a blue ability? Yeah. Yep. Jeez. So I don't think he got a four solution. Yeah. Otherwise, you would have just slammed that slammed it down. Thing. Yeah. Now it's, it's, this is a very high, I'd say over 50%. I can run the, all the odds in my head while talking, but it's definitely over 50% of this being killed. So it looks like, uh, is that a two damage side? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's six damage, I think. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, he could do six. Yeah, he had the field more. He had lots of different. Uh, two cunnings, I think, looks like. And a thermal deck. All right, so uh, that makes Peter Smith, the 4 1 games, 